and welcome to My Reality Jeep Life with me, the Vermont Jeep Girl, and this is my daily vlog of 2013. Today I'm back in the shop. I am going to be taking the knuckles off of my Dana 44. What I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be removing the cotter pins, the crown nut, and I'm going to be taking the uh, ball joints out of here and the knuckles off. Right. First thing I got to do is remove my my vent fitting I put in here. I don't want to doink it when I'm removing this nut. I'm going to try to break this nut loose. I'm not really sure if I'm going to be able to accomplish this by myself. As yeah, we used this the other day. This is the. Very awkward, but yet big ass pipe. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna, I'm going to try and use it this time. persuasion anything can work. right now I'm going to try to remove the top ball joint and in order for do, to do that I am really gonna have to hammer on it all right so let's see what we can do here Now that she's been soaking for a while with the deep creep. <laughs> Alrighty. Two knuckles that we're no longer going to need. Now that I've removed my knuckle, I have one thing left to remove, and that's this uh, slip nut, I think they call it. And to do that, we're going to use this special socket. Now that the pressure of the ball joint is out of there, and she's been soaking in uh, deep creep and croil, she's going to spin that out now. out now it must be because it doesn't have that pressure of the other thing on it I mean it's giving me a hard time to all chewed up but it's working its way out here so Here's the knuckle that I just banged out. I think I can just turn it over for you. Okay. Here's the upper ball joint. This piece right here. Here's the lower ball joint. And here is that slip nut or ringy thing. I don't know what they call it, but this slip nut thing. And see, it's got a, a crack down in it. And I believe that's supposed to be there for it to fit in there, but it screws inside it. And the ball joint sits right on top here, inside the threads. This is hard to do holding the camera. Okay. And I'm going to try to do the same thing to the other side. You, you can see down inside there. Some of the uh, edges are broken off. See the socket here has little teeth in it. And they're going to sit in here in the grooves. So it sits right inside that teeth right there. 
And being that some are chopped up, some are kind of have to hold it in a downward position. Again, a little hard to do when <laughs> I'm holding the camera. All right, hang on a second here. removed off of my axle. I have them sitting over here. I will not be using either one of these knuckles. I am going to be using the flat top knuckles off of the Dodge W150 that I have. I'm going to be using them. So these will go into the pile and storage in case we ever need a uh, knuckle for uh, Dana 44 at some point. So now this completes this part of this episode. Join me tomorrow as I'm cleaning my axle housing and I'll be scraping all the dirt and crud out of the inside, cleaning it up, and I will be putting a nice coat of paint on it. Thank you very much for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments about today's episode, please write me at vermontjeepgirl at hotmail.com. Also, if you're on Facebook, look me up on The Vermont Jeep Girl. I have a page over there. I'm also on Twitter under Vermont Jeep Girl. And don't forget to subscribe here so you get my daily vlog for the rest of the year. Thank you and have a good night. Yeah, good.